Magandang buhay mga kasambuhay. Ako po si Father Domi Guzman ng Society of St. Paul, Doing All for the Gospel. At uh, sa ngalan po ng aking mga kasamahang pari sa Society of St. Paul, yung aming pong mga junior professed, mga brothers, mga seminarista dito po sa Pilipinas at sa Macau, at gayon din po sa ngalan ng mga pari ng Archdiocese of Manila at ng TB Maria, ang atin pong mission partners, kayo po'y aming inaanyayahan na makiisa, makimisa, ngayon pong ikalabin lima ng Setyembre 2019 na ngalahati na naman ang buwan. <laughs> at uh, ito po ang ikadalawamput-apat, 24th Sunday of Ordinary Time, ibig po sabihin ay talagang eksaktong sampung linggo na lang at adbiento na. Uh, kapistahan po din ngayon, September 15, ng mahal na ina bilang ina ng dalamhati, Our Lady of Sorrows. Binabati po natin ang ating mga parokyano dyan po sa FB Horizon, sa Our Lady of Sorrows, sa Pasay, ang kaisa-isang uh, parokya ng Society of St. Paul sa Pilipinas at Macau. At uh, alam niyo po, sa darating na Oktobre, dyan po lilipat ang inyong uh, abang lingkod para maglingkod bilang kura paroko. No? And uh, we'd like also to greet si Father Melvin Castro sa Tarlac. Alam ko po, yung kanya pong parokya ay Our Lady of Soros din, dyan po sa Tarlac. At uh, syempre, dyan din po sa Pampanga, malapit po dun sa intersection ng uh, MacArthur Highway at ng San Fernando Exit, ang Our Lady of Soros po sa Pampanga. Diyan naman po, alam ko, nagmi-meeting ang God Loves Chapter ng Pampanga. Uh, we would like also to greet and to pray para po sa ating mga kasambuhay, yung pong mga homebound, lalo-lalo na po yung mga cancer patients po natin, at ang inyo pong mga support groups, yung mga elderly po natin, mga lolo't lola, at mga persons on duty, mga militar, kapulisan, mga doktor, at yung iba't ibang nag assist sa mga hospital, no? sa mga ER ng mga hospital. And of course, ang atin pong libo-libo na mga OFWs, lalo-lalo na po, ang mga seaman at mga seawomen. Binabati po natin ang ating Canada-based na mga mission partners sa pangunguna po ni Brother Alex Pideris, uh, gayon din po ni Dorothy Santos Merck, Annie, Annie Adorna, Emily at Dante Reyes, Joy at Alex Reyes, Dr. Joe Adorna Guzman at Alicia Adorna. Greetings din po and prayers para naman po sa ibang mga kasambuhay natin, ang Masigan Family, Chowa Family, Arujado Family, ang family po ni Noemi at George Villaruz, si Didith at Joey Jacob, ang Mariel Diaz, ang uh, uh, atin pong kaibigan dyan po sa Marikina, si Irma at si Delio San Miguel, Uh, dyan naman po sa Discovery Bay sa Hong Kong, si Corazon Ochoa at Rosita Kauyan, si Alma Gonzales. Uh, dyan po sa Los Angeles, California. And likewise, ang atin pong mga masipag na mga love operors, si Romel Salvador, Gemma Candela, May Asuncion Recio, Rachel Esteban at Leilani Palladio Himotea. Blessings and greetings din po sa atin pong mga co-pilgrims. Ang spell group ng March 2019, ang atin pong mga journeys of faith na mga pilgrims ng October 2018, kasama na po ang uh, grupo po ng mga jubilarians na sina Father Randy, Father Charlie at Father Joe Alves, ang uh, Napakasigasig na missionary po natin sa Taiwan, si Father Joy. No? Talagang Joy, Joy, Joy. No? At gayon din po ang atin pong uh, grupo ni na Cora Cabral, Geraldine Lee, 
Grace Lara, Mary Joy Brillo, Jimmy Olaso, si Attorney Jane San Benaventura, si Minyo Molina, si Anton Santos at uh, Juliet O'Reilly. At gayon din po si Mr. and Mrs. Benji Datok at ang grupo din po ni uh, Chrissy Highland, Rosely C, Rosebel D, William D, and um, ang group din po ni Silvet at ni Grace Tan at Nonoy Tan. And of course, uh, si Willie at Arlina Onglao at si Marites dyan po sa Journeys of Faith. Binabati rin po natin ang Recto Group, ang Recto and Friends Group na atin din pong naisama at nakasama sa March 2019 Holy Land Pilgrimage. Binabati ko nga pala po for September 18 ang aking mahal na ina. Siya po ay nagdiriwang ng kanyang kaarawan. Si uh, Mrs. Carmelita Galdones Guzman, no? Happy birthday mama, no? Of course, uh, meron pa ho tayong ilang mga uh, mass intentions at prayer offerings na nanggaling naman po sa ating Messenger, YouTube account, Facebook account. Una na po diyan si Aisha Fofana. Si Aisha Fofana na isya pong ipanalangin natin ang kaluluwa ni Maria Cristina Daniela Tenefrancia. Tenefrancia. Yan. Si Marie Marie. Kanya, sana gubaling na raw yung kanyang nararamdaman, palaging sumasakit ang kanyang sikmura at nanghihina daw po siya. Binabati rin po natin, ipinapanalangin si Weng de la Cruz Gabriel. At... Uh, ang kanyang mga intentions para po sa uh, eternal repose ni Rolando de la Cruz at Romeo Gabriel at gayon din po lahat po ng mga kaluluwa kanya sa purgatorio, thanksgiving din sa lahat ng blessings po of health and healing para sa kanilang pamilya. Si Pilar's Chocolato, kanya thanksgiving, forgiveness, Healing para po kay Hector, Pilar, Florentino, Mirna, Raul, si Father Nene Sinoy, Salbasyon, Pasyensyo at lahat po ng mga kaluluwa sa purgatorio. Si Teresa de Jesus, safety naman at protection ng kanyang buong pamilya. Si Annalisa Ocampo Paggaragan, kanya nawa ay uh, palaging gabayan ng Panginoon ang kanyang mga anak at ang kanyang grandchildren. Si Infinity Love naman, healing and speedy recovery for Steward Lee and also for the good health and healing of Edward Mo and Anna Yuin. Yan. Uh, si Aliorde Mancera Pat naman, gusto niya pong ipanalangin health, contentment, safety of loved ones, and the eternal repose ng kanya pong parents and brother, at lahat po ng mga kaluluwa. Si Jeanette de la Cruz, healing for Lawrence Mack. At si uh, Cristeta Obedosa, na is naman niya ipanalangin po natin, ang paggaling ni Ernesto Obedosa. Si Reniel Antonio, kanya thanksgiving for all the prayers of Pinoy seamen all over the world. May you continue to pray for us, for strength. May all seamen all over the world live according to God's plan. Lalo na na nandito sa barko ang calling namin. Wow, I like that, no? na ang tingin natin sa buhay ay hindi lang po uh, hanap pera, pantawid gutom. <laughs> pantawid gutom. Ano ba yan? No? So, dapat ang tingin natin sa buhay kani Reniel Antonio ay calling. Calling. Isang pagtawag. Fast recovery naman para po kay Nick Semenyuk uh, dyan sa Honolulu 
at si Mary Elsa Semenyuk. Yan. Special intentions for uh, Donna Levardo ng St. Joseph Parish dyan po sa Katitinga Alfonso Cavite. Kasama na po ang intentions ni Domingo Alarcon dyan naman po sa Dasmariñas, Cavite. Eternal repose para po sa mga kaluluwa ni Jose Rarang, Lucia Reyes Rarang, Fidela Capistrano, Antonio Capistrano, Jose Jaime Capistrano, Ricardo De Leon, Antonio Monroy Sr., Lucy Rozon, Petra Fabic, Fred Winston, Charlie Liva, Rufel Lihay Lihay, Mark Oberes, sa 44 Fallen Heroes ng Marawi at lahat daw po ng mga souls of the departed. Special thanks at prayers din po para sa lahat po ng bumubuo ng Gerucci Dental and Implant Center dyan po sa Jupiter Street sa Makati for all your dental needs. Nandiyan po si uh, Dr. Rico Martin at Axel Gerocci at ang Doktora Azel Jade Tan. No? Kompleto po sila while you wait. Ha? Appointment lang po. Appointment. Anyway, ngayon po sa atin pong 24th Sunday of Ordinary Time, ipinagpipista din po natin, sabi nga natin, ang kapistahan ng Our Lady of Sorrows kasi Kahapon po ay September 14, kapistahan ng exaltation, pagtataas sa banal na krus, eh, sa ilalim ng krus, nandun naman po ang inang Maria. So, Mary, Mother of Sorrows. At uh, dito po, palagay ko ang napaagandang leksyon ng atin pong mga pagbasa has got to do with the divine patience. Ang pasyensya ng Diyos, pagtiyatsaga ng Diyos, and the role of intercession. Yan. Uh, sa ating pong unang pagbasa mula sa aklat ng Eksodo, maririnig po natin ang kaganapan nung ang mga tao ng Israel ay gumawa ng isang molten calf. Pinagawa nila si Aaron, ang kapatid ni Moses ng isang guya na gusto nilang sambahin, golden, molten calf. At dahil po doon, siyempre nagalit ang Diyos, nagalit si Moses, pero alam niyo po, si Moses po namagitan sa Diyos. At sabi niya, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze up against your people? Bakit, Panginoon, hahayaan mo na ang iyong nagningit-ngit na galit ay tupukin ang iyong sariling tao. Yon, ano? And uh, doon po sa ating responsorial Psalm, Psalm 51, pinapaalala po sa atin, bakit patient si God? Because God is a father. I will rise and go to my father. Yan din po ang sasabihin ng uh, anak doon sa Ebanghelyong ating maririnig ang kwento po ng alibughang anak. No? The prodigal son And then, sa second reading po natin uh, Sabi po doon ng Apostol Pablo Sa kanyang testimonya Sa 1 Timothy chapter 1 Verse 12 to 17 Sabi niya Siya rin si Pablo Ay beneficiary Na kinabang siya Sa pasyensya at awa ng Diyos Siya na dating blasphemer dating persecutor, dating mapagmataas sa harap ng simbahan. Ang tingin niya sa mga Kristiyano nung araw ay mga taong dapat lipulin. Yan. Pero sabi po niya, dahil sa superabundance of grace, ay ipinadama ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ni Jesus sa kanya all the patience. Lahat ng pagtsatsaga lahat ng pagbibigay ibinigay kay Pablo kaya sabi niya ako naman meron din namang ministry kanya of reconciliation 
The highlight of the readings, of course, is the gospel. Yung gospel po natin, Luke chapter 15, 1 to 32. Ito lang po yung makikita natin sa Ebanghelyo ni San Lucas. Ito po yung tinatawag ko pong chapter of God's mercy. Kung saan pinapakita na yung uh, pastol, yung babae, at yung uh, tatay. Lahat sila'y nawalan. Yung pastol nawalan ng tupa. Yung tatay nawalan ng anak, naglayas. Yung uh, yun namang uh, ale, yung woman, nawalan naman po ng kanyang silver coin. Pero anong makikita natin? They rejoice. Sila po ay nagdiwang. They were one mind and heart rejoicing sapagkat naibalik ang mga nawala at mga nagwala. Yan. Ganyan po ang tiyaga. Ganyan po ang pasyensya ng Diyos para po sa ating lahat. At saan dito si Maria bilang Our Lady of Sorrows? Nire-reflect ko po yan eh. Kasi alam niya, siyempre, dyan ako maglilingkod. Come this October 7, dyan na tayo sa Our Lady of Sorrows. At hopefully, later on, dyan din po natin i-broadcast, ila-livestream ang sambuhay mula sa parokya ng Our Lady of Sorrows. Well, si Maria bilang ina ng hapis, bilang ina ng dalamhati, una po sa lahat, siya po ay larawan ng pasyensya. Kung gaano ang pasyensya at pagbibigay ng Diyos sa tao, yan din po pinakita ni Maria ang ating pong ina. Pinagpasyensyahan ang tao. Hindi lang yun. Mary, like Moses in the first reading, is an intercessor for the mercy of God sa pamamagitan ng kanyang pakikiisa sa naging sakripisyo ng kanyang anak na si Jesus na ngayon hawak-hawak niya nasa kanyang mga palad, nasa kanyang kandungan, patay na Jesus. And yet, Mary offered everything in intercession. Kaya po, whenever we speak about the mercy of God, kasama din po riyan si Maria, Mary, Mother of Sorrows, sabi nga po natin, Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercies. Okay? So ngayon po, narito na po ang ating uh, banal na misa, pagdiriwang sa tiyaga at pasyensya ng Diyos. Mula po sa oratory ni Maria, Reina ng mga Apostol. Let's start in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the Lord, our merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness. May His grace and compassion be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, we hear in today's gospel three well-known parables about the loving mercy of God. Ours is not a distant God who strictly imposes His will. Rather, Jesus reveals God as full of mercy and rich in compassion. He is like a shepherd who loves all his sheep 
and goes looking for even just one that gets lost. And he's like a woman who sweeps the house clean to seek for a coin she has lost. Let us therefore approach the Father with confidence as we celebrate this memorial of Jesus Christ, his Son. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Almighty God, our Creator and Guide, may we serve you with all our heart and know your forgiveness in our lives. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Go down at once to your people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molted calf and worshipping it sacrificing to it and crying out, This is your God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. I see how stiff-necked this people is, continued the Lord to Moses. Let me alone then that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them. Then I will make you a great nation, but Moses implored the Lord his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze up against your own people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, with such a great power and with so strong a hand? Remember your servant, Abram, Isaac, and Israel, and how you soared them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and all this land I promise, I will give your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will rise and go to my Father. I will rise and go to my Father. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. 
Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin, cleanse me. I will rise and go to my Father. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. I will rise and go to my Father. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humble. O God, you will not spurn. I will rise and go to my Father. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I am grateful to him who has strengthened me, Christ Jesus our Lord, because he considered me trustworthy in appointing me to the ministry. I was once a blasphemer, a persecutor, and an arrogant, but I have been mercifully treated because I acted out of ignorance in my unbelief. Indeed, the grace of our Lord has been abundant, along with the faith and love that are in Jesus Christ. This saying is trustworthy and deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Of this I am the foremost, but for that reason, I was mercifully treated so that in me, as the foremost, Christ Jesus might display all his patience as an example for those who would come to believe in him for everlasting life. To the King of Ages, incorruptible, invisible, the only God, honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory to you o lord tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to jesus but the pharisees and scribes began to complain saying this man welcomes sinners and eats with them so to them he addressed this parable what man among you having a hundred sheep and losing one of them would not leave the ninety-nine in the desert and go after the lost one until he finds it? And when he does find it, he sets it on his shoulders with great joy. And upon his arrival home, he calls together his friends and neighbors to say, and says to them, Rejoice with me because I have found my lost sheep. I tell you, in just the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous people who have no need of repentance. Or what woman having 10 coins and losing one would not light a lamp and sweep the house, searching carefully until she finds it. And when she does find it, she calls together her friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found the coins that I lost. In just the same way, I tell you, there will be rejoicing among the angels of God over one sinner who repents. 
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. At uh, meron akong isang simpleng kwento na paririnig sa inyo na maghahatid ng mensahe ng ating Ibanghelyo ngayon. Ang Ibanghelyo na punong-puno ng uh, awa at uh, pagmamahal na nagbibigay ng pag-asa sa ating mga mahihina. No? Ang kwento tungkol sa isang bata, ang pangalan niya ay uh, Johnny, na nagbakasyon sa farm o sa bukid ng kanyang lolo at lola sa probinsya kasama yung kanyang kapatid na si Sally. So si Johnny, uh, in order not to get bored, binigyan siya ng tirador para meron siyang mapaglibangan ng kanyang uh, lolo. So nung umaga na yon, ang ginawa niya, nagpa-practice siya and he was trying to hit a target. No? Pinupuntir niya, niya pero unluckily, hindi niya matama-tamaan yung kanyang tinatarget. And it was almost lunch time, kaya napagpasyahan niya na umuwi na lang para kumain ng tanghalian sa bahay ng kanyang lolo at lola. And on his way home, pagdaan niya doon sa papunta sa bahay ng kanyang lolo at lola, nakita niya yung paboritong pet duck ng kanyang lola. So, on impulse, kumuha siya ng isang malaking bato, nilagay doon sa tirador, at pininturya yung pato. The pet duck, the favorite duck of his grandmother. Unluckily, the duck was right was hit right on the head and it killed the duck no so di nervous yung bata takot na takot dahil alam niya na paboritong pato at inaalagaan ng kanyang lola so dahil sa nervous dahil sa frantic siya at natakot ang ginawa niya hinila niya yung pato na nagkikisay pa pero pat at uh, namatay sa isang sulok at tinabunan niya ng mga tuyong dahon at mga kahoy para makonsil o ma- maitago yung uh, pato na namatay. Nung matapos siyang mag-takip uh, uh, ng mga dahon at matabunan na yung pato, all the while pala, yung kanyang kapatid na si Sally ay nanonood at alam lahat at nakita yung nangyari. Pero si Sally, she didn't say a word. Hindi nagsalita kahit anong uh, isang salita. Eto na. Nung uh, tanghali, kumakain yung magkapatid kasama ng lolo at lola, lolo at lola, tahimik yung dalawang bata. So after lunch, sabi ng lola, Hey Sally, Help me wash the dishes. Pero si Sally, sabi niya, with all her smile, sabi niya, it's all right, Grandma. Kasi sabi ni Johnny, gusto niyang maghugas ng plato. Tapos, bumulong siya sa kanyang kapatid na si Johnny at ang sabi niya, Kuya, tandaan mo ang pato. No? So, Walang nagawa si Sally. Ah, walang nagawa si Johnny because uh, nag, uh, siya ang naghugas ng plato at mga ginamit doon sa kusina. A little late in the afternoon, yung, tat, yung lolo naman nagyaya para mag-fishing yung mag, uh, magkapatid da, dahil malapit sa kanila yung ilog. So sabi ng lolo, hey, hey children, sama kayo sa akin para mag-fishing tayo. So, they were, both of them were jumping for joy. Tuwan-tuwa, excited, mag-fishing. Pero eto na naman si Lola at sabi niya, sorry, hindi niyo pwedeng isama si Sally. Kasapag, sapagkat si Sally ay tutulong sa akin sa pagkakanda ng hapunan para mamayang gabi. Pero si Sally, muling ngumiti, at ang sabi niya, it's alright, Grandma. Kasi sabi ni Johnny, 
gusto niya daw siya ang tumulong sa iyo ng paghuhuga, ah, paghahanda ng hapunan ngayong gabi. At muling bumulong si Sally sa kanyang kuya at ang sabi niya, Kuya, remember the duck. Tandaan mo ang pato. So habang nag enjoy si Sally pag-fishing kasama ng kanyang lolo, si Johnny naman, hirap na hirap sa pagagayat at mga paghahanda nung kadilang hapunan para noong sa gabi yon. So it went it went on for a week na lahat ng trabaho ni Sally, si Johnny ang gumagawa at bukod sa trabaho na dapat niyang gawin. So hirap na hirap na yung bata. So na pagtanto niya na nahihirapan na siya so uh, kaya ang ginawa niya pumunta siya sa kanyang lola umiiyak nag uh, kumpisal he confessed and uh, at nagsabi na siya na siya ang nakapatay ng kanyang paboritong alagang pato nung makita ng lola yung kanyang kalagayan she knelt down, embraced the little boy, and told him, Sweetheart, I know. I was watching at the window. But because I love you, and I'm just wondering, how long will you allow Sally make a slave of you? But because I love you, I forgave you. I think malinaw yung mensahe ng ating kwento na gustong ipahayag ng ating ibanghelyo ngayon. Alam ng Diyos ang lahat ng nangyari, ang ating mga pagkukulang, ang ating mga kasalanan, ang ating mga pagkakamali sa ating nakaraan. Pero, Dahil mahal tayo ng Diyos, pinatatawad niya tayo. Pero nagtataka siya kung, kailan, kung hanggang kailan tayo magpapaalipin sa ating mga kasalanan. Ngayong sa ating Ibanghelyo, ipinakita ng Panginoon ang kanyang katuwaan kung sino man ang hihingi ng kapatawaran at magsisimula ng bagong buhay. Actually, ang kadakilaan ng tao ay hindi nakikita sa hindi pagkakamali, kundi nakikita kung paano mo itutuwid ang iyong pagkakamali. Sa aking pagkapare, marami nang lumapit po. Sinasabi sa akin, Father, ayoko nang magkumpisal, ayoko nang humingi ng tawad because after all, after one week o pinakamatagal yung isang buwan, uulitin ko yung kasalanan. So parang useless. Hindi. Hindi yun magiging useless. But the, at the very moment you ask the Lord for forgiveness to start a new life once again, you have in mind na hindi na gagawa muli hanggat maaari ng kasalanan. Sapagkat uh, hindi mahalaga sa Diyos kung ang at kung ano ang ating nakaraan ang importante sa kanya yung ating ngayon at yung hinaharap no kaya kung tayo hihingi ng kapatawaran hindi mahalaga sa kanya ang ating kahapon kung tayo man ay nadadapa kung tayo man ay nagkakamali ang importante bumabangon matapos madapa sapagkat isa sa mga pinakamagandang uh, talata sa Ibanghelyo o sa, sa Bible na nabasa ko yung, ng sinabi ng Panginoon na I came not for the righteous but for the sinners. It is, it is very consoling kasi doon ipinapakita na ang Diyos ay mapagpatawad, mapagmahal at uh, laging nakahanda na tayo ay bumalik sa Kanya. Natatandaan ko nung ako ay isang bago pa lang mag, uh, ma-ordain, 
we were required to have a general confession. So, ang pinili ko, isang pare na medyo matanda, tsaka medyo mahina na yung tenga. Para hindi mo. But anyway, the point is, I poured my heart and my soul sa pagkukumpisa dun sa paring yun, pero he didn't say even a single word. He was just listening intently. And then finally, when he spoke, he simply said, Remember my son. There's no saint without a past. And there's no sinner without a future. So napaka-consoling sapagkat alam natin lahat ano man ang ating pagkukulang, ano man ang ating kasalanan, ang Diyos ay nakahandang magpatawad. At ang kinakailangan lang natin ay ang ating sinseridad at pagpapakumbaba at tinatanggap ang ating mga kasalanan. Anyway, bago ko tapusin ang, aking isang, ang ating reflection, meron akong isang uh, paghambing na gagawa na i- Sas, uh, isasabihin sa inyo at kayo na mismo rin ang huhusga kung ano at nasa saan tayo sa pagkakataong ito. Ang tanong ko, ano ba ang pagkakaiba ng uh, tupa at baboy? The difference between a ship and a pig. Bukod sa spelling. No? Bukod sa kulay. Pero although meron ding black ship. But anyway, ang pagkakaiba ng tupa at ng baboy ay ganito. Kapag ang tupa, when a, when a sheep fell into the mud, no, the tendency of the sheep is immediately to get out of the mud. Dahil ayaw niya ng putek. Ang tendency niya umalis kagad sa putek, ayaw niya ng dumi, ayaw niya ng uh, putek. Ang baboy, Pag nahulog sa putikan, magtatampisaw. Kung pwede, doon na lang siya dahil gusto niya ang putik. Gusto niyang magtampisaw sa putik. Ang tanong ngayon, which one are we? Are we a ship or a pig? The Lord is waiting for us to come home. And definitely, He will welcome us with both hands and open arms. Amen. Sa mga 
Let us pray to the Lord who desires not the destruction of sinners, but the repentance. May we acknowledge our own mistakes and accept wholeheartedly those who have failed. With confidence we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church and her leaders may fight all forms of evil and sin and yet not condemn and reject the sinners. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the government leaders, judges, and the police force in maintaining peace and order may shun corruption and favoritism and respect the basic dignity of all even of those suspected or guilty of wrongdoings. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That the wayward, the lost, and sinners may not find themselves excluded by their families and communities, but may instead experience openness, forgiveness, and encouragement for a new life. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that work-related problems and differences may be solved through frank and honest dialogue rather than through extreme measures that only lead to the suffering of all. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer, that we may see ourselves as a community of imperfect, imperfect people who must travel the path of ongoing conversion and renewal. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. And for personal intentions, we pause for a moment and present our petitions to the Lord in the silence of our hearts. God, our Father, as we seek your forgiveness, give us a heart ready to forgive our brothers and sisters. May we experience and celebrate together the joy of your forgiveness. Amen. Amen. brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord, hear the prayers of your people and receive our gifts. May the worship of each one here bring salvation to all. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. We see your infinite power in your loving plan of salvation. You came to our rescue by your power as God, but you wanted us to be saved by one like us. Man refused your friendship, but man himself was to restore it through Jesus Christ our Lord. 
Through him, the angels of heaven offer the prayer of adoration as they rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices be one with theirs in their triumphant hymn of praise. Fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, one supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Luis Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say the Our Father. Amen. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Peace, peace. peace to everybody. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Thank you. 
For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart, detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Prayer of Overseas Workers Saint Michael the Archangel, I am about to leave my family and the physical and emotional distance affect me. The physical distance means I will be living in a totally different culture where everything will be new. The emotional distance implies that no longer will I be able to embrace my loved ones when I want to. You have done special mission for God and you did it confidently, trusting that everything will be all right because our Creator has everything in His hands. Share with me the same faith. Make this travel a part of my mission here on earth. I have to leave for the good of my family and loved ones. I have to leave to do God's will. While I am away from them, protect them from dangers. Let them feel my presence through my letters and calls. Make us a strong family, even though we are far from one another. Saint Michael, through your intercession, may Jesus be the light of the family and Mary be our mother too. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, may the Eucharist you have given us influence our thoughts and actions. May your spirit guide and direct us in your way. We ask this in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow, head, bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Lord, you care for your people even when they stray. Grant us a complete change of heart so that we may follow you with greater fidelity. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever and Amen. ever. In this Eucharist, we have experienced God's forgiving love. Go and share this love with your brothers and sisters. Thanks be to God.
Maraming salamat po sa atin pong uh, paring tagapagdiwang ngayon pong kapistahan ng Our Lady of Sorrows, 23rd Sunday of Ordinary Time, 14th of September 2019. At ngayon, dadako po tayo sa atin pong uh, pabaong katikismo. Laudato si. Yan. Sabi ko nga, timely na timely sapagkat itong September hasta October, kapistahan ni St. Francis, na po ni Pope Francis na ipagdiwang natin ang Season of Creation. Ayan. At uh, sa pamagitan po ng kanyang Laudato Si, ay pinakita po una sa lahat ni Pope Francis, ano yung kanyang sariling pananaw, ano yung take niya sa mga nagaganap sa kalikasan at ekosistem ng mundo. Dito naman po sa chapter 2, paragraph 62, na atin pong sisimulan ngayon, Pope Francis speaks about the gospel of creation. Kanya, merong mayaambag ang pananampalatayang kristyano sa isang usapin na sa tingin ng iba ay teknikal at sayantipiko, merong kaugnayan kanya ang isyu ng pananampalataya. At ano yan? Kanya, kung titignan po natin, uh, mayroong pananaw ang pananampalataya tungkol sa atin pong kalikasan, ang relasyon ng tao sa Diyos at relasyon ng tao sa mundo. Yan. Tatlong relasyon po ang tinatalakay ng kwento ng pananampalataya. God and man, man and man, and man and creation and the world. No? And ano mahalaga sa pananaw po ng mundo? Unang-una sa aklat po ng Genesis, chapter 1 uh, and 2, at uh, sa paragraph 65 ng Laudato Si, sinasabi po ni Pope Francis na napakagandang simulan natin ang gospel of creation Unang-una sa atin pong pananaw, ano ba ang tingin ng pananampalataya sa tatao, sa babae at sa lalaki? So, first of all, sila po'y maganda. Maganda, ginawa sa pagmamahal, ginawa sa kabutihan, ginawa sa kariktan ng Diyos bilang kanyang image and likeness. God saw that everything He did was very good. Yan po ang Genesis chapter 1 verse 31. Pero pangalawa, sabi po ni Pope Francis, ang tao hindi lang ginawang marikit at uh, hindi lang ginawang kawangis ng Diyos, kung hindi, binigyan din ng tao ng dignidad, the capacity for knowledge, the capacity for discipline and self-possession. And uh, dahil po dyan, sabi po ni Pope Francis, uh, ayon kay John Paul II, ang pagmamahal ng Diyos sa tao ay nagbibigay sa tao ng kakaibang dignidad, pananaw sa sarili, na ang tao ay hindi lamang po at the mercy of recurring cycles. Oh. Yung tinatawag po natin na fatalism. Yan. Nandyan na yan eh. Yan na ang iginuhit ng tadhana. Fatalism. Ang, ang sabi po ni Pope Francis, hindi totoo yun. Na ang tao ay walang pwedeng hawakan sa pangyayari sa mundo. Sapagkat bawat isa sa atin, sabi po niya, ay hindi lang ginawa kagustuhan, ginusto, kalooban ng Diyos ang bawat tao na isinisilang. Yan. At dahil po dyan, um, uh, sabi ni Pope Francis, ang tao binigyan ng Diyos ng kakaibang papel. Hindi lang nilikha ang tao. Okay? Ang tao nilikha ng Diyos. Pero hindi lang nilikha ang tao. At yan po ang gospel of creation. Ang tao ay ginawa ng Diyos upang mga siwa sa mundo. To have dominion over the earth. 
Genesis 1.27 to till it and keep it. Genesis 2 verse 15. Yan. Ang problema dito, ang sabi po ni Pope Francis, kung minsan, mali ang pangunawa ng tao do sa mga salitang yon Dominion. The power to till. The power to keep. Yan. Para bang tayo ang Diyos ng creation. Ang sabi po ni Pope Francis, hindi, we are not gods. Hindi tayo mga Diyos na pwede na nating samantalahin, pwede na nating talagang pakinabangan ng todo-todo at talagang, sabi nga na, nung iba, laspagin. Ha? Pwede na nating laspagin ang kalikasan. Hindi po. There is only one God. And that is God. Ang tao, nilikha ng Diyos na kanyang kalarawan and therefore, merong kakayahang mga siwa sa mundo pero hindi po yun ang absolute domination. In fact, sabi po ni Pope Francis, kung maintindihan natin na maayos, ang kwento ng Genesis, Gospel of Creation, dalawang salitang ginamit, till the earth. Ito'y bungkalin, bungkalin, pakinabangan, okay? Till the earth, oh, gamitin ang mundo, i-cultivate ang mundo. Pero sabi po ng Diyos din, keep the earth, meaning pangalagaan mo ito, protektahan mo ito, nakoy, huwag mo sisirain. Ayan. So, dapat yung to be in domination of the world, magkadikit po yun. To till and to keep. No? Sapagkat, sabi nga po sa Psalm 24, the earth is the Lord's. Ang lahat sa mundo sa Panginoon. Lahat ng nasa mundo at lahat ng nasa loob ng mundo. Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 14, lahat ng ito ay sa Panginoon. Although, Binigay ito ng Diyos sa atin upang pangasiwaan, gamitin. We have also the duty to protect the earth, to ensure the fruitfulness of the earth for the coming generations. Oh, itutuloy po natin itong gospel of creation na ito na uh, siya pong tinatalakay sa chapter 2 ng Laudato Si. In the meantime, kayo po'y aming inaanyayahan na maging kasambuhay, Pauline Cooperator sa iba't ibang paraan. Unang-una, you can be a kasambuhay, Pauline Cooperator by propagating. Pakilala po natin ang atin pong apostoladong ito sa new media, sa cyberspace, at nasa screen po natin, First of all, ang cable channels ng TV Maria sa Pilipinas at gayon din po ang mga cyberspace internet platforms na gamit po natin abroad. Ipakilala po nito sa inyong mga kaibigan. Pangalawa, you can be a kasambuhay Poland cooperator of course by your love offerings po. Ano? Tuloy-tuloy po ang pag improve natin ng infrastructure ng atin pong apostolado nasa screen po ang atin pong mga bank accounts kung may problema sabihin po nyo kami siya nga po pala big project natin ha yung atin pong paglilipat ng production house ng Sambuhay TV para ito'y realistically based sa parokya sa Our Lady of Sorrow sana tulungan po ninyo kami sa proyektong yan at pangatlo po, you can be a mission partner sa pamagitan po ng inyong text messages, feedbacks, sharings, mass intentions. Nasa screen po natin ang atin pong uh, text number. Sa ngalan po ni Father Resti de la Peña at gayon din po ni uh, Cleric Edward Dantes at uh, Uh, ni Kiv di Matatak at lahat po ng bumubuo ng St. Paul Audiovisuals doing all for the gospel. Narito po ang panalangin ni Blessed James Alberione to spend 
the weak well. My dear and sweet Mother Mary, keep your holy hand upon me, guard my mind, my heart, my senses, that I may never commit sin. Bless my thoughts, affections, words, and actions, that I may always please you. Jesus and Mary, give me your most holy blessings. Amen. Amen.